Do you know which are the most dangerous cities in the United States in 2024? Welcome to a journey that takes us across the landscape of the United States, but not the usual scenic tour you might expect. This is an exploration of the darker side, a look at the cities that, for various reasons, have earned the dubious distinction of being the most dangerous in the country this year. How did we arrive at this list, you might wonder? Our ranking is based on three key criteria, the crime rate, safety measures in place, and the public sentiment. We've delved into the data, analyzed statistics, and listened to the voices of the people who call these cities home. Some of the cities we'll be visiting might surprise you. Others, perhaps, not so much. From the bustling metropolises to the smaller cities, danger can lurk in the most unexpected corners. So buckle up and hold on tight. Stay tuned as we unravel the countdown of the most dangerous cities in the U.S. in 2024. Starting the countdown at number 10, we have the city that's known for both its vibrant cultural scene and, unfortunately, its high crime rate. This bustling metropolis is grappling with a significant crime rate, especially in the realm of violent offenses. The city's crime index is a staggering 195, with robbery and assault leading the charts. What's striking is that this city, despite its grim statistics, is not sitting idle in the face of adversity. Measures are being taken to combat the issue. The city's law enforcement agencies are ramping up their efforts, employing cutting-edge technology and community outreach programs in an effort to curb crime. They're also focusing on rehabilitation and reintegration programs to reduce reoffending rates. Despite its issues, this city is making strides in fighting crime but still has a long way to go. It's a city of contrasts, of challenges and resilience, and it's this spirit that keeps it moving forward, striving for a safer tomorrow. Moving down the list, at number nine and eight, we find two cities that are no strangers to the headlines. At number nine, we have the bustling hub of Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Known for its vibrant culture and history, Baton Rouge unfortunately also has a darker side. The city has seen a sharp increase in violent crime rates, with armed robbery and assault leading the pack. There's no sugarcoating it, the numbers are alarming. However, it's worth noting that local law enforcement has been proactive in their efforts to curb these rates. Initiatives such as community outreach programs, increased police presence, and stricter gun control measures are all part of Baton Rouge's strategy to reclaim its streets. And then, sliding into the number eight spot, we have the city of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. This city, famous for its breweries, also brews a fair share of crime. Milwaukee's crime rate, particularly in terms of burglary and auto theft, has been on the rise. What's more, the city has seen an uptick in gang-related violence, which has become a significant concern for local residents and authorities alike. But don't lose hope just yet. Milwaukee has been fighting back. With a focus on youth education and rehabilitation programs, as well as a push for increased surveillance and security measures, the city is working tirelessly to create a safer environment for its residents. Both Baton Rouge and Milwaukee serve as stark reminders that crime can infiltrate even the most vibrant and bustling of cities. But they also demonstrate that with concerted effort and community involvement, it's possible to combat this issue head on. Remember, these cities are not defined by their crime rates alone. They are rich in culture, history, and community spirit, and they are home to thousands of people who are dedicated to making their cities safer, better places to live. These cities are grappling with high crime rates, but efforts are underway to turn things around. Moving into the mid-range of the list, at number seven and six, we have, sliding into the seventh spot, we find ourselves in the heartland of America, in a city that's been grappling with crime for quite a while. It's St. Louis, Missouri. Known for its magnificent gateway arch, St. Louis has a darker side that's often hidden under its charm. With a crime rate that's nearly double the national average, it's a city that's been battling against the tide. Violent crime, in particular, has been a persistent issue, with aggravated assault and robbery making up a significant chunk. But it's not all gloom and doom. The city has been making strides to combat these issues, with increased law enforcement presence and community outreach programs. It's a tough fight, but St. Louis isn't backing down. 
Knocking on the door at number six is Baltimore, Maryland. A city with a rich history and a vibrant culture, Baltimore too is wrestling with a high crime rate. The city's crime rate is a staggering two and a half times the national average, with violent crime being the most prevalent. Homicide, in particular, has been a sore spot for this bustling city. However, Baltimore is not standing idly by. The city has been implementing measures to tackle this issue, from increasing the police force to launching initiatives aimed at reducing youth involvement in crime. It's a steep hill to climb, but Baltimore is determined to reclaim its streets. Despite their challenges, both cities are working tirelessly to turn things around. With concerted efforts from law enforcement, community leaders, and residents alike, there's a glimmer of hope for a safer future. It's a long road ahead, but the journey has begun. These cities are facing serious challenges, but there is hope for improvement. Now, we enter the top five most dangerous cities in the U.S. Brace yourselves. At number five, we have Kansas City, Missouri. While known for its jazz music and barbecue, it unfortunately also holds a high crime rate. Its violent crime rate is almost four times the national average, with homicides and robberies being the most common. The city is trying to tackle this issue with increased police presence and community outreach programs. Next on our list is the city of Memphis, Tennessee, sitting at number four. Known for its rich musical heritage, this city has a crime rate nearly five times the national average. Aggravated assaults are the most common violent crime here. The city has implemented a blue crush strategy, using data to target high crime areas for increased enforcement. Coming in at number three is the city of Stockton, California. Despite its picturesque waterfront and vibrant art scene, Stockton struggles with a violent crime rate five times the national average. The most common crimes here are robberies and aggravated assaults. The city has been focusing on community policing and intervention programs in an attempt to lower these numbers. At the penultimate spot, we have Albuquerque, New Mexico. Despite being a cultural gem with its unique blend of Native American and Hispanic influences, the city's crime rate is more than five times the national average. Auto thefts and burglaries are particularly high here. Albuquerque is looking to combat this by investing in crime prevention initiatives and increasing the size of its police force. Finally, we reach the top spot. The most dangerous city in the U.S. for 2024 is St. Louis, Missouri. Renowned for its gateway arch and vibrant blues scene, St. Louis has the unfortunate distinction of having a violent crime rate nearly seven times the national average. Homicides and robberies are the most prevalent crimes. The city is working hard to combat this, initiating programs like Cure Violence, which treats crime as a public health issue and focuses on prevention. These cities are the most dangerous, but remember, change is possible with the right measures in place. So, there you have it, the top 10 most dangerous cities in the U.S. in 24. We've traversed the country from coast to coast, pinpointing the urban landscapes that are grappling with issues of safety and security. We kicked off the journey with our 10th spot, bringing to light the challenges faced by its residents. As we ventured deeper into the list, the complexities of each city's predicament were unraveled, painting a vivid picture of the hurdles they face. Our top five, the cities with the highest crime rates, were a sobering reminder of the work that needs to be done nationwide. These cities, while burdened with their respective issues, are home to resilient communities striving for change. But it's worth remembering, these rankings are not destiny. They're a call to action, a plea for collective effort to improve the quality of life for all residents. Stay safe, be aware, and remember, these rankings can change with collective effort. Thank you for watching, and until next time, stay informed.